Hey guys, welcome back to Brick Fury. So, this just came in from Bricklink, and let's crack straight into this and take a look at what's inside. So, let's crack straight into this. And look at the parts inside the box. That's all the tape we need to cut. Oh, nice. just have a bunch of parts and bags definitely going to be very helpful for building what I'm actually going to be building in this video and you should have seen in the thumbnail what I'm going to be building and in the title it is Brick Mania's F-35B Lightning II Stovall Stealth Multi-Role Fighter designed by Cody Osa. A joint strike fighter, the F-35 is designed to accommodate a wide range of roles across three different US military branches, Air Force, Navy and Marines. The F-35B Short Takeoff Vertical Landing, or Stovall, is the Marine variant of the three. Equipped with a vertical takeoff and stealth technology, as a joint strike fighter, the F-35B can be outfitted with a massive variety of armaments on each of its two internal pods and four external hardpoints. Despite the touted capabilities of the F-35B, it has yet to see a major combat at a cost of 240 to 300 million dollars per unit. The F-35 program is slated as the most expensive military program in, in history. Estimated at 1.5 trillion dollars, the F-35B has faced major issues due to its faulty equipment and design flaws, delaying deployment to combat zones such as Afghanistan. It has a Pratt & Whitney F-135 afterburner turbofan engine, has a maximum speed of, two, of 1,217 miles per hour, or 1,960 kilometers per hour, a maximum range of 1,035 miles, or 1,667 kilometers. It has a combat range of 517 miles, or 833 kilometers, and its main armament is a 25 millimeter GAU 22A Gatling Cannon. Let's get into the speed build in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so this jet is huge. Just to bring in a sense of scale with a figure, I'm going to bring in Crash Chest Jacob here. I mean, look how big this jet is compared to a figure. I mean, the intake is about the size of the figure's head. Now, to get the figure in, you have to, of course, open the canopy forward. Then you basically sit the figure like this and then you have to kind of maneuver him around inside there because if you look in, if you look inside there is this cheese slope here with um, a sticker on there for the ejection handle there's also some cockpit uh, not printed stickered cockpit controls was printed in the kit when this when when this was a kit I got this of course for the instructions it's kind of fiddly to get him in you have to kind of sit in lean his Lean him back a bit, and then you can you can get him in, and then you can just close the cockpit around him. Now this thing has like twenty, over twenty opening hatches, or movable features. So of course there's the cockpit you can move up, you can open up. Then there is the fan intake, which has a sticker warning label here that says danger fan intake. 
You can also open these up here, like so. I mean, that's also an intake, but I'm not entirely sure what exactly it is. You can also, you can move the wing flaps down. You can also move these little winglets on the back, up and down, same on the other side. Then on the underside of the jet, I will say, if you're going to hold this like this, make sure you put your fingers on this center row of tiles here. Otherwise, it will break these missile bay doors are very fragile. So yeah, you can open, so you can open the missile bay doors like this. Ooh, as you can see, bumping against the landing gear there. Yep, yeah, and you can fit it. It comes with two MRAMs, MRAM missiles. Now, because this is a B variant, it is the Stovall version with the short takeoff vertical landing, so the thruster can rotate downwards. So, do that, you open these doors like so, and then you can just simply rotate it forward like that. Now, I'm just going to close these up again. At the front, we have these two doors here, which are correspond with the intake, the fan intake on top. I keep forgetting really. To, to close these ones, you do kind of have to close them at the same time. Otherwise, it won't work. Like that, so. Forward landing gear. You rotate it so the wheel is facing forward like that, and then you just push it in. It's a little snug, but it does fit. Oop, I've broken it. Oh, just close the cockpit. So yeah, it does fit. It's a little snug in there, but it works. And then the doors just close like that. It can can be done a bit better where you don't, where you don't see the white for some reason. It's not working on camera. Now the rear landing gear, landing gear. You have two doors here that you open. Rotate it forward like that, and you kind of have to stuff it underneath the missile bay door, and then you can close the doors around it. Same on the other side. Rotate it forward, and then stuff it underneath. Like so. Now, the jet also has these things here on the wings now, I believe. In Brick Media's designer's desk, Cody Ozell called those roll posts. Something the, I believe it was like rolls were always added to the engine to help keep make the jet hover. Because of course, uh, being a Stovall aircraft, it can do that. But it's kind of fiddly to get that, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. But I think the best way to open these up is to take off this um, landing gear door. And then you can... Open it up like that, and then you can, and then it's open. Very small detail, but it's it has to be there to get an accurate model. Now this model is covered in stickers. There's that one there, Marines. Yeah, because this is a U.S. Marine fighter jet, and then there's also Marines on either side of the thruster. I can try to get that camera. There we go. There's also danger jet, danger intake, the intake for the jet engine. Let's close those up. There's also this, I can't quite read what it says, and it's not focusing. There we go. You want to read it there, you can. This is a very heavy jet. I'll say my arms are getting very, very tired. Now this is supposed to represent the 22mm Gatling cannon that is the jet's main weapon. Now I can't remember, I can't remember exactly what this is. You can go to Brick Menu's designer's desk to find out exactly what this is or just search online. And of course there's also the stickers on the on the stabilizers. Now this is these are actually the alternate stickers. 
There are two different insignia for squadrons on the stabilizers that you could use. I chose to go with this one, mainly because it was the one that had less stickers. And it's the same one on the other side as well. Now, these holes in the base of the aircraft, at the back, that's where you can put a stand in. Now, I do have my own stand, but it's not very good, and I'm not going to show it on camera. Now, give me a second, and I will take the open up the landing gear again and have, and set it back down so I can rest my arm. So there we have it set back up on its landing gear. Now I will say, the landing gear is not the strongest. It's not really a jet you can really traffic around because it, the landing gear does collapse very often. Now, obviously not doing it on camera because nothing works the way you want it to on camera but I do have a modification to the rear landing gear and you can also do, probably do this to the forward landing gear I haven't tried it with the forward landing gear yet but I have a modification to the rear landing gear that can make it a bit stronger if you just use these which is basically just a ratchet, a ratchet joint and then a, a, t a three long Technic pin and then it's really, really easy to make. But if you swap that out for the rear landing gear, it'll be much stronger. And it doesn't collapse as much. It still does collapse, but it's a bit stronger. So the way, the way to do it is open that door up and then you just pull this entire section off and then you can going to close this forward landing gear again. Yes. There we go. It's in. So that's how the forward landing gear is supposed to actually fully close up. So, so yeah. take, the, take both of these off. I, I just rest the jet down like so. And then you just Remove that, remove that tail, and then take just take that off, and then just reattach this into there. Place put the tail back, and then you can just transfer the wheel over. Yeah, I'll I'll do that with this one, and then put put them back on the jet, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the landing gear modification on there, and I'm going to just show you how to collapse it. Well, collapse it into the aircraft because it is quite involved. So you have to, of course, open both doors, and you have to actually remove the wheel and just stuff that underneath the bomb bay, the bomb bay, miss bomb bay, and then you can just close these doors around it, around there, like that. Same for the other side. Just. Like this wheel, the wheel. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Ah. I get to the just once again remove the wheel, stuff it under the missile bay. Or oh, weapons bay, I believe is the official name. This does off this uh, this door often bends a lot, but you can't really do anything about it. And then you can just close it up like that. And then the forward landing gear just closes like normal. And then you can fly the, to fly the Jaren. It's very suitable for its size. Probably the best way to hold it is like this. But I would advise putting a, having a hand under here just to support it in case it does drop. But then you, you can swoosh it around quite well. And I'm just going to get the sticker pack so I'll show you, so I can show you the 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 original tail markings that that were used on the model. So here is the sticker pack after building the model. So you get two stickers left over: the one of the um, stars and bars and or marines. But then these are the uh, original. Um, tail markings that were on the, that were the initial, the ones in the instructions. 
the very I use the alternate is tail markings. So these ones just say MN. You can't really see it on camera, but if you look at it in in person, if you look at it just right, you can see the MN with the light shining on it. But it's really hard to see on camera. So that's that's the sticker pack. That will be, that's what that's what's left of the sticker pack after building the model. But yeah, I have no idea where I'm going to put this model. I have very little space in my room. So I may have to take something apart to put this somewhere. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And click the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.